Hi everyone, today here we have the DJI Agress T10 and DJI Agress T20P. The number after T stands for how many liters these drones can lift. Uh, the T10 is a 10 liter drone, about 2.5 gallons, and uh, 20 liter drone, about uh, 5 gallons. This one is um, one year older than the T20P. The T20P has all the technology that you can get in the DJI Agress T40. The T10 has the technology that is on DJI Agress T30 as well. So the remote controllers, you can see that uh, the screen on the T20P or it's the same remote controller. You can use it for T20P or T40. The screen is bigger than this remote controller that is used for DJI Agress T10 and T30. So other than the screen, uh, the battery is the same on both of them. It's called w, uh, WB37 battery. The range is almost the same. Both are really good controllers. You, don't, you do not need a phone to operate these drones. They both have screens as you can see and the apps are pre-installed on them. So I will put the remote controllers on the side. So now I would like to talk about some of the differences on these drones. One of the main differences you can see other than the size obviously is the type of nozzles that they have. The Agris T10 has T-jet nozzles, four of them that they are placed under the propellers to give you the pattern that uh, is consistent and um, it's about 10 to 15 feet of uh, uh, width, spray width, or swath. There are three types that you can use, the orange one, yellow one, and the green one, if you want different droplet sizes. Every time you change your nozzle, you will need to recalibrate your pumps and flow meter. Then, uh, there, basically the, the cameras on the T10, uh, there are FPV cameras, there are two of them, one is on the front and one is at the back. But you do not record anything and the resolution is not very high, it's just for you to know where it is. On the other hand, we have the uh, 12 megapixel camera on the T20P that is similar on the T40 as well. Regarding the nozzles, we do not have the T-Jet nozzles on the T20P or T40 anymore. There is this centrifugal nozzle system that you can uh, get close and see these spinners from the remote controller you will be controlling the speed of this spinner and based on how fast it's spinning you're getting different droplet sizes so you will be able to control what is the micron of droplet that you want to spray from the remote controller so the landing gear on the t20p is aluminum the arms are aluminum and on the T10, we have carbon fiber arms. Half of the landing gear is carbon fiber. The bottom half is aluminum. The frame is aluminum on both of them. Both of them have the main boards at the front. The DJI Agress T10 has the omnidirectional radar at the bottom here. It's a 360 degree obstacle avoidance or omnidirectional radar we always recommend using your obstacle avoidance radars only for emergency situations pre-plan everything in your field do not rely on the obstacle avoidance to detect everything sometimes there are scenarios that it might miss an obstacle so it's better if you have if you already know for example you have a tree in your field just put an obstacle a circle around it. You can watch some of our videos that we show how to add that. And uh, just that's a lot more safer. So the obstacle avoidance radar on the T20P, on the other hand, is at the top. However, you will have these visual sensors here. And you will also have another uh, radar at the back, but what I want to mention here is that if you're spraying chemicals and every time you land, it's a good idea to put this in your checklist to just check these are clean because these sensors are helping you to follow the train properly. So if your drone is not behaving very 
uh, well uh, on following the train, you want to go to your settings, then you go to the radar settings. At the bottom, you can select flat mode, mountain mode, or orchard mode. If you have a rolling hill area, we recommend selecting the mountain mode and switching on your obstacle avoidance, uh, obstacle bypass, bypassing feature. I can show you in the remote controller too. But uh, another difference is in the battery size. You can uh, come and show them here. Yeah, you can see this is the battery of the T10. Uh, it's about 10 pounds. Also, now that we are here, the tank on the T10 is swappable too, so you can have a separate tank and just uh, fill, fill up uh, the other tank while your drone is flying. When it comes with an empty tank, pull this one out, put a new one in, and that's it. Then you're ready to go. It's much faster to replace the tank. However, the tank is smaller, half the size of what we have here. So this is the battery. It's a shorter version of the T40 battery. Everything else is the same. In fact, you are able to use the DJI Agress T40 or T30 batteries with the T20P drone and you will get a longer flight time when you're using a T40 battery. Okay. One suggestion I have is that every time you want to uh, put chemical in your tank, it's recommended to have the battery on. The reason is that if you have your battery on like this and you're putting chemical in the tank, you're not risking pouring chemical on these uh, power distribution board uh, connectors because if chemical gets on them or they're dirty or um, let's say um, rusty, what happens is that you will not have a good connection between the battery and the power distribution board connector and it will overheat and it causes other issues. It's the same on all of the Agris models. It's not just for this model. But um, other than that, uh, we have bigger propellers because it's a bigger drone. You can see the size of the propeller, the difference. 54 inch versus 33 inch. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, that's pretty much it.